What is up, everybody? Welcome back to some Skyhaven. We're taking a look back. There's been a few updates, and some really cool stuff has been added. So I'm super excited to get back into this. This is this is probably where this is actually where I first started. This was my very first upload ever on YouTube. And so without a doubt, let's get into this. So let's uh, see if there's anything important in my beta super detailed tutorial. Oh, lol. Okay, so I'm going. We're paused. Let's see. So first, of course, we have to start off with a runway grass strip. So how do we? Okay, we can rotate like that. Let's see. I want to go. Let's let's mix things up. We'll do it this way. And grass taxiways. So we have that there. Let's go ahead and get some ramps down. We'll get the ramps right. Uh, which way do we connect them? Oh, that's weird. I want to connect. Okay. No biggie. We'll do them right over here. So we'll get ramp. 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 Okay. Now let's get some more taxiways boop 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 and now actually here's what i want to do we'll do this there take that out and we will take out that and that let's go ahead and get a road going this way and airfield buildings when i remember we need a warehouse and b barrel is there anything else important we needed off the bat okay and now if i remember correctly we have to purchase vehicles so uh shop and then Let's go here, vehicles, shop, 289, how much, you know what, Wait, we'll hold off. So, let's go ahead and set to turbo prop speed, oh, that's, that's cool, jet speed, supersonic speed. Um, here, oh, here's what I forgot to do, we have to... Oh, that's awesome. That's nice. Connect all to nearest facility. Oh, that's super nice. Linking mode. Okay, they really did some improvements. They also have an FPS counter up there, getting a nice 60 FPS. So, ooh, what is this? Can't buy wrong location. Ooh. Okay, it disappeared. Let's. Oh, incoming flights. So let's go ahead and bring her in. So let's see, there it goes. And there she is, our first landing. Beautiful. So there we go. Okay, and um, coming flights. Let's see, let's get ready. Here comes the other one. So I was reading and apparently we'll see, we should be seeing custom exits soon let me let me make sure that we can't do custom exits already wait that's that's a road no polygons cannot intersect okay so i saw somewhere where we should be able to um oh Got to unpause for that. Or we should be able to be building or to build our own uh, custom uh, runway exits, which is something I'm really looking forward to. Because this runway is nice, but especially once you get larger aircraft that take the entire runway where they have to land here, finish over there, turn around, backtrack here, you really, um, it really hurts your efficiency. Of course, there's the other option of you just build more runways. 
which is something I'm not opposed to because a runway is only 2100 which is still a lot of money but it doesn't break the bank at all so let's go ahead and speed up now uh, we'll bring him in because we can turn these guys around fast uh, we're, we're making a lot of money you know the next thing I'm really excited for in this game is some nice background music that's that's gonna be nice because I'm probably going to add in some uh, some custom background music just because it, it's awkwardly quiet. Okay, so let's go ahead and get that going. So just, we have enough that we could probably add two more gates. I wouldn't be opposed to it. Because uh, I want to want to keep this at as max capacity. And I'd rather have... I don't know. I guess in my mind... It, if we have to have like slack somewhere, um, rather have more aircraft on the ground and waiting on ground vehicles than having ground having uh, ground vehicles wait on aircraft. I mean, per in a perfect world, I like to have even down enough ground vehicles so we'd never have surplus or um, excess surplus or demand. I guess there, there's always just the perfect amount, but that's easier said than done. Oh, so we're only allowed 10. I, I forgot about that. So that's something we have to keep in mind, too. We're only allowed 10 aircraft in our airport. Which isn't a big deal, really. So there we go. We're, we're moving pretty fast today. We're turning around aircraft. That's what's great about these early game aircraft. You really can turn them around. Um, and the downside, we're really going to have to expand. Um, I think we're going to have to put some money in. It's getting another fuel truck. If we get one more fuel truck, one more mail truck, and then spend the rest of the money on increasing our gates, I think we should be fine. Can't take you because you require passengers. But let's go ahead and slow her down. Here it comes, our first big boy. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Look at our taxi in. Okay. So this is what I was talking about. The downside with the big boys is they come back over there. So we had that aircraft waiting. And so when you get a couple, when you get one, it's not that big of a deal. But when you get a couple of them, especially landing, you take it takes a lot of money, or costs a lot of money. So we'll bring you in. Yeah. Now we need. Uh, we need to get these aircraft turned. We're not going to take you. We'll take you instead. Oh, that's cool. So it takes me to the gate. That's That seems very helpful, especially once you get uh, larger airports. We'll have to cancel. We can't take those because they require actual cargo, and that's not something we have right this second. All right, so uh, here's what we're going to do. We're going to... Uh, get two parking upgrades and buy two more of those and then we're going to there we go so now some we're waiting on is we're requ we require a lot to uh, turn around these aircraft but now we have the vehicle support um, all the stands we actually have one more mail truck than we have stands which is really good so uh, I think we're good. I think we're we're pretty efficient right now. If we can get if we get this big boy turned around soon. Yeah, we have to. just can't we can't accept any of these. Fortunately. Bring you in, we'll bring you in. Yeah, see this is what I was talking about. So it goes all the way down there, turns around. cancel those. So it's 1500. I think our last flight is, can be 1800. So hopefully we can still get a few more flights in before it's time to uh, before it's shut down time. I need this other. I need it. Okay, so these air, all these aircraft are prioritized uh, landings. 
So the easiest way to tell is with this setup, if they're on this side, then they'll pro prioritize landing. If it's on this side, it'll prioritize takeoffs. So let's see. Okay, fish. Once that loads, mail will be good. Cancel that. Cancel that. Cancel that. Okay, let's get some of these smaller planes in. We'll bring in. We'll bring in the big boy because. It gives us a lot more money, ultimately, $249. Um, we'll go for this 106. Okay, we'll bring you in. Oh, yeah, we'll bring in another big boy. What are we waiting on here? loading mail so mail trucks is definitely I think we're going to have to invest in more because I think it's two or three mail trucks per it's, it's a single mail truck to one of these guys I think it's one or two mail trucks per big aircraft so it you'll definitely start seeing um, a lot of money um, have to be invested to keep up a quick uh, quick turns with those smaller aircraft so we can get this guy. Okay, we'll bring you in. Maybe it isn't 1800. Maybe it's 2000. We'll see. I guess not. Okay, that's good. That gives us a little more time. So we're going to bring in I'm bringing these small boys, and here's out. Here's the reason: they only require mail, which means we can turn them a lot faster. Granted, it's a smaller profit. We can turn them a lot faster. So I will bring in another big boy. But I'm gonna try and bring in some of these smaller guys. Quicker turns, quicker money. Um, I, it actually might be that these smaller ones with just mail are more profitable in the long run. Actually, I'm actually kind of curious. I might, I might do that sometime. I might sit down and see. The average time it takes to turn one of the big ones compared to the average time it takes to turn a small one. So let's get in. Oh, 1900. Darn it. Oh well. We'll get these two aircraft. Uh, let's see. Because, yeah, it, it, it looks like it takes three runs with mail. Okay. So once he pulls out, we're going to expand. Okay. It's gonna be able to get it all in one go. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, it's just it's just too small. It's, if there's a way we could actually, oh, that's what we need to do. Um, as soon as we get this guy out, we will look at upgrades. Upgrades, people. Upgrades. Yeah, there, there's my. <laughs> uh, the cringe. That if y'all if y'all know what that's from, I'm sorry. If y'all don't, don't ask. So let's go ahead and land that guy down. Plenty of money. Get you there, 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 there. And now, uh, oh, we have to build an office to unlock research. Uh, we're gonna build this over here for the sole purpose of. I think we're going to end up moving. Okay. Uh, 
moving these buildings in the future. Vehicles, barrel stock. Okay. So guys, here's what's gonna happen. I'm going to, uh, I'm just gonna do a quick cut and I'll catch y'all tomorrow in, well, the next game, or next day in the game. So see you in a few seconds. And just like that, we're back everybody. Um, so, quick thing I did overnight, I got started, is I went ahead and started researching cargo terminal. And the reason for that is it leads to advanced mail logistics, which I'm hoping means we can do, it says reward mail and it says research, but I'm hoping this boosts us as well. Is it, we were getting a lot of cargo requests um, from some large airliners, or pro, I guess technically not airliners yet. So we're gonna go ahead and get this uh, started we have to buy researchers, which costs us $200, so that's one of the first things we're going to invest in. Um, I'm going to stay away from passenger services just for now. Um, I, I, I'm not opposed to it. I just want to try and stay on the cargo area for the beginning. Uh, less stuff we have to work with. And, uh, yeah, so this is Paxes, yes. So we'll go ahead and get all these guys coming in it's a beautiful everybody's coming in so let's go ahead and take a look for our morning rush there's another guy just beautiful beautiful way to start the morning just aircraft upon aircraft upon aircraft coming in but yeah see and those cargo planes can make some serious money um Oh, wow, already turned. So, what? We probably need to... Actually, I'm not even going to invest in more fuel trucks because not all of our things are requiring fuel. We are going to invest in another... Um, oh, wow, that's maxed out. Okay. So, we might save up for... After we buy one or two researchers, we'll probably save up and get another post warehouse just because that uh, the ramp... Oh. Okay, it's requesting cargo. Um, because I just, I, I think that's where we're going to need it is mail, at least for now, maybe by the time we actually get to that spot where we need more, um, mail, we might be moved on to cargo. So that's something we got to keep in mind too, with all of our investments, but we're going to go ahead and we have one research, uh, researcher now, which gives us 15 points, which I, th I think that's 15 points a day. Um, so I really want to get a second and probably a third. Get up to three today. That, I think that's going to be a, that's our goal. How many fuel trucks? We only have three. What are, are any of these guys waiting on fuel? No, not really. Okay. That's a good sign. Go ahead and get out of that. Bring in these big boys, because these big boys are, every time we send one of these guys out, new researcher. And we have enough for... Uh, two new researchers actually, and I think at that point we're gonna cut it with the uh, crap. And I didn't even fire it. It's kind of weird. Why? Why do you want to decrease researchers? That's that's annoying. Oh well, small blunder, not the end of the world. I'll just cry about it after the camera's cut. So let's see. That will take us twelve hours. Perfect. Okay, because 155 is pretty good, especially considering there's no fuel involved. That, that's the important thing to remember, which means we can build more infrastructure for that and not have to worry about fueling. Oh, oh, and these guys require flight checks. That's, don't have, we can't do packs. Let's go ahead and get a small guy in. Okay, let's get him. We'll get a big guy in for this. Doing good on money. Uh, 700, and it's only noon. So we've been only, and we've only been up for about four hours in game. I think we opened at uh, 8 a.m. And we also have to remember 1900 is a cutoff. Can't take that. Let's get us another big boy. Get some easy guys coming in too. Lots of big boys wanted to come in. And it kills me because that's some really good money we're not able to accept. I think we might have to look at getting a second runway soon because we're 
we're pretty much maxed out on our capacity especially since we're doing a lot of larger aircraft oh man i meant to accept that i need to start trying to pause it before i lose some of these good aircraft but it looks like we're doing the we're doing pretty good things are running smoothly. we're not having backlog with the vehicles much which was my biggest concern um of course and you know once we start adding in more of these big boys we, we'll see more of a backlog but oh wow that's a lot of new aircraft okay so that guy should as soon as they're done fueling i think he should be oh he has to load fuel too or uh load mail i thought he was loading but i guess he just unloaded and these models are just so nice guys if you like airport building you got to pick up this game like not sponsored not anything but this is awesome and this is i mean the the screenshots and the art i've seen oh, i just i can't wait till we get like late game you know 2000s ni 1990s to the two like the 2010 i guess or 2020 10 i guess technically now the 2020s since we're in the 2020s uh that's the era i really am looking forward to um when you start getting some of the really cool aircraft i mean dealing with jumbo jets a380s um i'm curious what type of cargo planes we're going to see i wonder if they'll ever add in some like maybe like the an225 that'd be crazy okay so now we have two thousand dollars let's check how research is going I'm gonna put one more researcher six hours that way we produce 60 a day which means we can single most of the stuff we have to take care of can't accept that can't accept that can't accept that nor that go back to full speed Trying to keep those big boys coming in, just, I don't know, I mean, in some ways, I, I don't know, I really, I really need to sit down, because I want to find out what's profitable, because $200, but it takes about, takes two trips with the trucks, so it's, it's really, I, I can't figure out what I feel like is more profitable, they feel like it, they might be about the same, which is cool, but with airport builder games, I'm always, trying to figure out how to do it best how much bang for a buck especially in these early games where we only have we have access to very few flights um, we don't have resources you know late game when you could probably have like 20 flights on the ground at a time not a big issue if you're not doing always the most profitable but these early games you need to okay it's getting late so what i'm going to do is last minute or those big boy flights or whatever we're calling so we're trying to get in some little flights now have the big boys come in very last minute. And there we go. Come on, give me one more big boy. Yep, we're not gonna get a new big boy before the airport closes. I would, you know, something interesting I almost want to see is, while it would hurt you, especially other game, maybe they're, like in real life, if there's, um, if you're doing flights after the closing time, there will be penalties, and maybe, maybe it would be cool to see penalties in this game, even though it would hurt me. So here's what I think we're going to do. Can we, can we do more than one air runway? We can. Oh, there we go. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and get another barrel stock right here.
also go do It's, it's no biggie. Well, guys, we have our expansion done, and now you'll be able to see us run two runways in this game, but you're not going to be able to see it until next episode. Until next time, guys, y'all have a good one. Goodbye.